Hey traders, John Howell here. We're gonna be having a look at the stock market. What happened today? A uh, bit of a red in the screen in the stock market. Lots of green across the mining sector and the gold and silver um, sector as well too. That's really starting to capture a bid. And a few other things that I wanna share with you about what's going on right now as well too. So let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, so let's get straight into it. Um, traders, I've been hearing a lot of stories lately of a lot of people just really getting destroyed in the markets uh, as because you know, you're know you buying, you probably bought and hold crypto over the last 12 months. It's one of the reasons why I've told all my private clients to not get involved with it, especially in the last 12 months, um, be it, unless you're trading it, right? Um, and, uh, and, and I saved them so much money from doing that. Um, and the thing is this, is that when I first started trading, um, I lost $250,000 trading my first three, four, five years, somewhere around about there. Um, and I've been trading now for 17 years in total, right? So through that time, I made so many mistakes about over trading and not following a system and not and not looking at different, and, and just there was, there was really like 13 big mistakes that I made. They were really stopping me. Um, and so I've actually just put, I've actually, I've actually got that and plus a whole lot more in my trading course and I'm giving it away for free, all right? Um, so if you need the help guys, if you're not doing well, I, I can understand where you are right now, okay? Before I get into to, to, the, to the technical analysis of the markets right now, I can understand your pain. I can understand that if you're not doing too well in the markets, that it, it can be quite tough, right? It can be quite difficult because you just, you, it, especially if you're only new to the markets for the first couple of years in the markets, right? You're just, you're just, you know, you're just trying to really figure it all out. Like what's this game called trading and how do you really get ahead in the markets? And you will be watching a lot of different YouTube channels and stuff like that. And I can really feel your pain because you, you want to get ahead, right? There was times there where I was, I was washing cars for a living for $400 a week, just barely getting by. Um, and I, I just, I just said to my, my now, my now ex-wife at the time, um, I just said, I just really, 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 really want this. I really want this so bad. And, um, and it was, uh, and it took me, it took me a really good few years to really figure it out, um, to especially going through all that, that, that first trial there. So if you are going through a tough time right now, um, or you really want to start to get a bit of a bit of a lead way, okay, if I want to actually do this and actually make money for this long term, I need to figure out what am I doing wrong? What do I need to start doing right? So that's the reason why I put together that free trading course for you guys. And again, in that trading course, uh, one of the very first videos you're going to get is the top 13 mistakes that stopped me from actually moving forward. Once I actually learned them and learned how to overcome them, my, my, I started making, uh, you know, I, when I started doing that, I started making more progress in six months than I did in the, last, than the prior six years. It was just incredible. Um, and the better I got at not doing those mistakes, the, the, the faster, I, faster I became a full-time trader. Um, and I've been a full-time trader now for over 10 years myself. And again, I've been trading now for 17 years in total. So guys, I just wanted to share that story with you because I'm getting so many stories about people just really not doing well out of the markets, you know? And that's why I want to help you, right? Just go, go, get, go get access to that free trading course. You can see in the link in the description there. Um, so let's have a look at, we'll, get, we'll start with the stock market, then we'll get onto the gold and silver. So stock market actually had a bit of a pullback today, a little bit of a down day today. It's going to be really interesting to see what goes on through here. So in uh, in yesterday's video, I talked about how we're not out of the woodworks yet when it comes to the S&P 500. Uh, let's go have a look at, okay, so I'm now, uh, if I'm looking at this, this, uh, this chart through here, we're actually right at this level so we had a big move up and now we're actually having a bit of a support level here again we're not out of the woodworks yet what we really need to see for for the buyers to really start to come back in we really need to start to see some sort of a higher low right so we need to see something like this see how the market came up and then it pulled back and then we had a bit of a shoot to the upside creating this low and a higher low that's what we want to start to see through here. So we may even get a bit, of, a bit of follow through tomorrow. It's going to be really interesting to see what happens. But if we get something like that, but then we start to get something like this, and then we start to get something like that, that's going to be really, 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 really powerful in the markets to, to if we get something like that, right? It's going to be really powerful in the markets because then it's given us that 
sort of a very similar situation to what actually happened over here on the S and P 500. If I'm going to, let's go look at the hourly chart for a minute. And I'm looking at the hourly chart right now. The reason I'm looking at the hourly chart because I want to see, okay, what is happening through here. Um, it's gonna it's gonna be like a a bit of a line in the sand for this S and P 500 moving forward. Okay, so the reason we have this sort of major level through here, and then we have a major level of obviously uh, that's the wrong one. Um, and now we actually have the major level of this level through here, All right? We have this major level through here, right? So we had, a, we had a very strong move up, but now you notice we're getting a very weak pullback through here. So this actually could be, uh, it's gonna be really interesting to see what happens. And and this hourly chart, you can see it's developing like, call, it's, it's probably like a bull flag type thing, right? You're getting like this sort of thing happening in the markets, right? A bit of a bear flag or wedgie or whatever, <laughs> wedgie. Um, you know, so we are getting that in the markets, right? We're getting a bit of a pullback here. The really interesting thing about this is gonna be wherever the break happens, then we're likely to get follow through. So just because we're getting this, we've got a very strong move up and we're getting a very sort of weak pullback here. Um, and so depending on what actually happens tomorrow, do we actually hold here and start to rally back up and start to move up like that? If so, if we can get that on the hourly chart on this S&P 500, yeah, then we'll start to probably do something like that. But if the flip side happens to where the market just does something like this and then we break down like that, then we could be getting ready for a, for a move back down through to here. So um, so it's gonna be really interesting to see what actually happens through here on this um, on this S&P 500, uh, especially that hourly chart. Let me go to the four hour chart here for a minute. Just seeing through here. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's gonna be, it's, again, we're at, we're at a bit of a do or die situation right now. Is this going to be that higher low before, bef you know, before away we go? Or is it gonna be, um, or is it gonna be die before? What rhymes with that? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I'm doing, trying to rhyme here. Um, so NASDAQ as well too. NASDAQ actually, again, the same situation here with the NASDAQ. Um, you can see the NASDAQ actually broke down. Uh, we're at that major level of support. It's probably that level there, which is that key level there. We actually had a bit of a pullback through here. If I go back to that hourly chart once again, you can see we're getting a very weak pullback. If we can hold here and we start to get a, a move back up and a breaking above that 13,800, that's gonna be very, very, very powerful to start to see this thing rally back to the upside. I ultimately believe that the market is gonna to start to see some legs to the upside and that's just gonna give us confirmation through there. And just like uh, I remember trading the, the S&P 500 last year and what happened was um, on this day right here, um, I, actually bought, I actually bought call options in the markets um, and write them up. And the reason why I did do that is because I believe that once we come down through here, that this that this here was going to then find support. We got a blow, a high, a high, breaking of the high, and then went for a big move. I believe we're probably gonna get something very, very, very similar here as well too. So uh, let's go have a look at the, uh, now the Dow Jones is the, is, the, is the outlier of all things. The Dow Jones is not doing what the NASDAQ and the S&P are doing. The Nasdaq, the Dow Jones has actually rallied up to resistance of 34,000 and now we're getting a bit of a pullback. So now we're getting a strong level of support and now it's coming into a level of resistance. So for the bulls to start to gain any control out of this Dow Jones, we would have to see this thing hold here and start to rally back up towards, um, towards, uh, let's just do this here. All right, towards towards above here, we need to see the buyers come back in. All right, we need to see the buyers come back in from here, and we need to see this be a higher low. Is this gonna be a higher low before we do something like this? Uh, if so, that's gonna be very, very, very powerful for the bulls, because now we're changing tune, right? We're changing tune from a high to a lower high through here. We actually do have another lower high through here, so we are stair stepping down still. Are the buyers gonna come back in and create that high low and break above? If so, then it's probably gonna be the start of a move. Probably, probably uh, this this is probably gonna be the start of the move, probably back up to all time new highs. But 
We need to see the market give this higher low here first to say the buyers are starting to come back in uh, when it comes to that as well. Uh, let's have a look at a few other markets here. So let's have a look at the VIX. The VIX is actually still spiking quite strongly. Uh, so there's still still a lot of fear in the marketplace. Uh, let's go have a look at the fear and greed index and see where that's at right now. Um, it's going to be really interesting to see because uh, I know we've got a lot of fear uh, in the marketplace. Oh, look at that extreme fear. So yeah, we're still getting we're we're still getting really, 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 really low readings through here. Let's actually look at this here. There we go. Okay, cool. So we're we're definitely we're definitely at extreme fear in these marketplace. Uh, massive, massive, massive extreme fear. You can see every single time we've got these extreme fear readings, um, and it's just below here. Uh, just below the 20 mark. If we have a look at the actual dialogue, you can see it's actually at 19. So, man, if we got if we got any more downside, guys, this thing is going to be pegging. This thing is going to be pegging at extreme fear. So, um, for my longer term investments, guys, guess what I'm doing right now? I'm not going to tell you what to do, but guess when people are greedy, be fearful. When people are fearful, be greedy, especially in this environment. So, we are getting now down to extreme fear in the marketplace. And to me, guys, I see an ultimately, by the end of this year, I see a five and a half, six thousand target on the S&P. So this here looks like it's going to be, um, the fear and greed index is, is starting to get down here. We have any more downside. Like remember, this was this was the vid crash here. What happens when we get to so, 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 so extreme fear in the marketplace? What happens? We get this massive rebound, right? So, that's what we could be getting ready for right now. And the good thing about what I'm seeing right now in the marketplace is that we could be setting up for quite a nice move um, for that. We just need what? We need that higher low. If we get that higher low, that tells us the buyers are coming back in. And then this fear and greed is probably going to start to do something like this. So very, very, very interesting when it comes to that. Let's have a look at the... We're definitely getting... Um, we're definitely getting a... Uh, a very nice rise out of the out of the mining sector here. The problem with this, and, and I was looking at this with, let's go have a look at the oil, okay, USO. Uh, the problem with with the USO right now, guys, is that, um, and that's actually oil in in particular. But if you look at the USO, is uh, please don't be sucked into right now when it comes to oil. I know probably people are like, oh my goodness, let's let's jump on oil, let's get into oil. No, this is not the right time. Okay, this is not the right time to buy oil. Remember, the market is a stair stepping. The market stair steps. Okay, so if we have a look at this, when the market stair steps, right? When the market stair steps like this, the best time is what? The after a pullback, get in here. After a pullback, get in here. So as you can see, right? After a pullback, get in here. After a pullback, get in here. After a pullback, get in here. Right, so what's happening right now with the market is actually make a big move. So don't be, please don't be sucked in right now and trying to, trying to capture and really trying to capture the move because the move has already happened. When it comes to, uh, when it comes to the um, uh, the um, the USO here, right? So and plus also looking at this this longer term level on oil, and actually I should just bring up oil chart, shouldn't I? There's this major level of resistance that we're at there right now. So this is probably going to be a complete rejection point, uh, a pause point in the market here. So please don't be getting sucked in by that. Let me actually bring up the oil chart itself. Uh, where are we here? I'm just going to bring up the trading view. My trading view, where are you? Oil, all right? So let's actually bring this up here, right? So you can see oil is just going absolutely just bonkers to the upside. Uh, again, traders, this is not the right time to be trying to jump in on oil. Oil has already made a massive move, and we are getting we are getting very, very, very close towards the end of this move up. And it's and again, traders, like you'd never want to be getting into something after it's made a big move, right? Because you just never know where the top is going to be. Always wait for a pullback. See here, pullback. You're trying to jump in as it starts to pick back up. See this pullback. Overall pullback, 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 and then we start to get a move up. Pullback, 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 and then we start to get a move up. And remember I said before about the stock market, about the, about the market making a higher low? Well, look what happened here. See this here? See, the market actually pulled back, pulled back, made a low, and then it made a higher low, and then away we go, right? So this is what, I'm, this is what I, I, I want to see in the stock market 
um, um, for me to say, okay, the buyers are coming back in now. And especially with the extreme fear rating, um, it's, it's, it's going to be incredible. But right now, it, we're talking about oil, always made a very big move up. Please don't get sucked in this because they're, gonna, they're probably going to pump and dump this because it's already been going up for quite some time. And as you can see here, as the market goes up through here, you never know when the top's going to be before we go through another pullback. Wait for a pullback. If you are looking at the, the, um, the oil sector, and on top of all that, we can see, if I go to my weekly charts, you can see how we're actually getting right to this major level, major, 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 major level of resistance. And this is the, this is the beauty of reading the weekly charts, right? Reading the weekly charts. Uh, and also, yeah, just, just, just looking at that. And you can see here this major level of where it actually start here, maybe even just a bit higher as well. Uh, it's more like an area. But you can see here, see all these major levels of resistance here on these weekly charts. The market remembers that, okay? And now look what's happening now. If I go back to where we are right now, and I zoom in, look what's happening here, okay? This is gonna be a pump, this is gonna be a pump and dump. Um, and the market is absolutely just seeing this right now, and we're just going through the roof. Now, again, no one, there's no definite guarantees when it comes to oil here, but again, just tr one of the biggest mistakes that I made when, when trading, when I lost all that money, is guess what? Is that I'd wait for the market to go up, then I'd get in, and then the market pull back, right? I'd be getting in here, and then the market would do that on me. I'm like, why did the market do that? And then it would do that. So one of the biggest mistakes I made, which I corrected, is that I wait for a pullback first, then I'm jumping in here, right? I wait for a pullback first, and then I'm jumping in here, right? Or I'm not, I'm not doing that. I actually have a precise, um, in that trading course I'm giving away, you actually see my trading system, that I'm actually waiting for a precise entry point in the market. Um, so right now, a lot of people are gonna be sucked in oil and they don't realize that this whole area th up through here is a major little resistance. And I'm expecting this thing, yeah, we may get a little bit more upside, but I'm expecting this thing to come down really, 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 really hard. This is that last final hooray in the market. It's that last final hooray in, the, um, in this upward leg. I'm not saying the market's gonna completely crash, but what I, what I am expecting to see is that we may even get one last little final hooray like that and then it do something like this and come back down and, and, and or it may come back down really quickly and then we may go sideways for a bit and then maybe continue the upward trend, okay? Because we are on an upward trend, but when it comes to trading the markets is that you never want to get in after this here because the market does that, right? It's like, uh, it's like, it's like, it's like I, um, I mail or think about the markets as an energy field, but especially sex, Right, let's go there, boys. All right, um, ladies, you can just not listen to this. But anyway, all right, we're all mature adults here. Like this, think about think about um, the market as a, especially what's happening right now. Right, the market does this sometimes, and it's and it's a warning sign not to get involved with it. And this why this it sucks people so many people in that don't understand this. Right, think about this as sex. Right, a, a male orgasm, a male a male orgasm, orgasmic, yeah. The the when the male goes through an, an orgasm, what happens? Okay. Firstly, we're using a lot of energy because we're going through the deed and we're having a lot of fun, right, in the bedroom, right, and we're going there, right, and so we're using a lot of energy, right. We're using, 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 and guess what happens? What happens to what? Us men, we go through what? We have we 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 have our orgasm, right, and then we just oh, we have our orgasm, and it just it's all the energy, and then what, us men, what happens to us men at the time? Then we do that, and then what? We just want to go to sleep. <laughs> right and we just want to go to sleep that's exactly the way this is it's because it's an energy field right it's an energy force and this is what the market does it's gone 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 and sometimes sometimes you get this market doing this and then it'll just final push and then it'll just start to pull back and it happens on the downside as well too um where you can see look at this look at this here i'll show you this here right it's, it happens on it happens on the downside as well too right is that the market's going 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 and then we oh <laughs> yeah, my girl's probably thinking so what are you talking about mate um so um so we had this movement down through look at this here this final what hooray right that final movement on that downside and then guess what and then suddenly because it's, a, it's on the downside here is that after the market's coming down and then we get a big capitulation move look at that big capitulation move was actually what the bottom and then the market started doing something like that. And then the flip side is the same thing as well too. We're going, 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 going for a while. We get a final push, final hooray. We are now hitting towards these levels through here. Again, looking at the four hour chart um, and looking at the hourly charts now, you can see where we're at right now. 
I wouldn't be too surprised, traders, if we if we, if we just start to see a, a, a bit of a strong pullback out of this. Uh, again, we may get a, a little bit more upside, but then I'm expecting this thing to fail. But traders, this is I'm not talking about the oil chart here. Well, I am. I'm talking about the oil chart. What I'm talking about is that this is works. That this is a general theme. This is, although this is a rule of thumb when you're trading the markets, not to get sucked in when seeing this. If you see the market already moving for quite some time in a direction, and then it has a big breakout, that's not the time to get in. That's actually that, that is that what that does is that's the that's the computer algorithms, the big guys, whatever you want to call it, right? The market does this. It sucks people in when they don't know. And that's why, and that's one of the biggest mistakes. One of the thirteen biggest mistakes to make is getting in after the market's already made a big move, which is a big mistake because you just never know. Just like here, right? The market makes a move up. You just never know when this pullback is going to happen. Market makes a move up. You just never know. And generally speaking, as you can see, the market goes up for quite some time. And if I'm getting in here because the market's already gone up, or I'm getting in here, where a lot of amateur traders don't understand this. So what's happening right now? So what we're probably going to expect to see something like that soon. Oh, but John, you don't understand Russia. Da, 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 da. Okay, okay, listen. Okay, time out, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I don't give a rat's ass about what's happening in Russia. I really don't. Now, my my thoughts and prayers go out to people that are getting really affected by this, um, families and so on and so forth. Us human beings, yes, I care about that. What I'm talking about when I say I don't care about Russia is that is that uh, I don't want you to trade something based on a hope. There is no success in the market doesn't come from hoping. Success in the market comes from knowing. So, and what I'm talking about this is that whenever I'm trading the markets, I'm trading for what I know I can continue on, right? So, um, so it doesn't matter about Russia. What can I use? Not what can I use through COVID? What can I use through? Russia, what can I use through floods? What can I use through lockdowns? What can I use next year? What can I use through the election? What can I use to give myself the best chance of really crushing it in these markets and doing really, really well, right? That's, I want to use something that I can, that I can rely on, that I know is, is a fundamental of how these markets work and the best chance. And so, um, yeah, oil may continue up here. Obviously, anything can happen in these markets, right? But I want you to be on the right side of these markets when it comes to that as well. Anyway, I think we should. <laughs> I think we should look at gold here. Let's go have a look at gold. Gold actually had a very nice move up today. Um, uh, again, I, I would have preferred to see gold actually have a bit more of a pullback, but we are actually just in a, in, in a bit of a breakout. We have gone sideways here, and now we're actually breaking back up again. I ultimately see a three thousand target on gold. But again, I would have liked to see a bit more of a pullback before this actually happened, but we may not even get that pullback out of that there. Uh, a very big, very big move to the upside when it comes to silver. Um, again, we just, we've just just gone through this movie, a very big update on silver. So it's going to be really interesting to see what happens here overall. We are definitely starting to break out of this level through here on silver. Um, so that could be, let's go back at gold through here. Yeah, so gold is definitely broken out. So we're definitely um, in a very, we're now after using all this time and now use, we're starting to use the energy that we built up through here. So when the market goes quiet, it's building a lot of energy. Now it's actually starting to release energy. So we may not even get that pullback out of gold that I was looking for. Um, again, guys, I'm actually in gold. So I'm, I'm in gold long term. So that's um, just this just the way that it, it is through there. So let's go have a look at the mining sector Again with the mining sector. We're starting to get a very big strong. We're actually getting a, a very nice sort of uh, Support level around this 35 level. And we're getting a nice break to the upside again traders for me You can see this market's already making a move up through here um, I want to see I want to see a bit of a pullback, but we may not even get that Let's go have a look at the SIL Look what's happening with the SIL, right? Remember I said before, remember I said before with the, uh, remember the oil chart? Let's actually go back to here for a minute, right? This is why, that's why this, this stuff is so powerful. Remember I said before with the oil chart, right? Right, we had this low point and then we have a higher low, break it past previous highs, look what happened. The market took off after what? Having a pullback. Now, let's actually take that down to the mining sector. Hey, what did I just click on? <laughs> Now let's take that to the mining sector. Let's go to the to so as a, um, let's look at this from uh, SIL. What's happening through here? Ah, low, 
This could be what? Some sort of a high low. We break this level through here. What's happening through here? Mm, interesting. See how, see how see, and you try to, that's the reason why this stuff is so powerful because when you start to see this reversal pattern happening, you're like, oh, remember, remember, and this is, and remember also, this was the same, this is the exact same thing I traded with the S&P 500 last year, um, is that you can see here we had a low and then a high low and we broke past through there. Once we did, we went for a run. Again, let's go back to the all chart. Da, 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 da. Right, what do we have here? We had a low, a high low, break it past previous highs, then we went for a run. If we have a look at the SIL, now we're getting what? We're getting a low and a high low. Once we break past previous highs, what's probably likely to happen? Very, very, very powerful, right guys? Very, very, very powerful. And this is the fundamental basis of why my trading is so successful is because I'm waiting for these certain scenarios to happen. And then I'm selling the kids. <laughs> Right, so very interesting there. That's the SIL. The SILJ is actually already, it hasn't even made that pattern there. So the SIL is actually something I'm watching for because if we do that, we do get that. We, I'm, prob I'm probably going to put a trade on SIL. I'm not in SIL. I'm in the GDXJ, um, but I'm not in there. Let's go have a look at the actual GDX. Let's go look at the GDXJ here for a minute. Um, yeah, we're starting to break out here. Now that's the short term. On the GDXJ, the reason why I'm in this on the GDXJ is because we're seeing, let me just take that off the screen here. We don't need that anymore. Um, look at this level through here, traders. Like this is just, see this overall, this is uh, this is a weekly chart by the way. This is an overall big pullback and we had a very strong move up. I'm expecting that to come. Now that to come may take 12 months to happen, right? It may, um, we'll put it this way. Or oh, you know, actually, I won't even go into that. That's that. That's that's what I'm expecting out of the markets. This is going to be a massive, massive, massive springboard to see this thing just go final hooray in the markets. You watch the mining sector, guys, are going to go absolutely just nuts out of these markets. Stock market's probably going to do really, really well as well too. But we are now getting into the decade of the of commodities, miners, metals, stuff like that. The last, and if you just look at simple analysis or simple cycle analysis in the markets, right? Everything goes in cycles. What was is not what is, but what was is what is what will what what will be again. John, what did you say? Okay, let me let me let me go back here. All right, simple cycle analysis is this: what was what 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 was was a mining boom, right? Mining boom, commodity boom, uh, silver and gold went crazy. That's what was. What has been or what is? You know, what is is you know this nothing right for the last ten years nothing absolutely nothing. Apart from this movement down through here, right? That's what is. But what was, is, is is what will be again. So what's, hap what's happening right now is that we're getting into, back into a, what was, a mining boom, is not what is, which is last 10 years, but what was is what's going to be again, right? It's just it's a simple cycle analysis. This is cycles of life. And it's actually really interesting. You see this with property as well too. You know, we see a big property boom, then we see a crash, then we see a stabilizing for a few years out of the property market. Then, you know, we actually had the 2008, 2009, 2010. It stabilized for a few years. Then we started to pick back up in 2012, went for a big move back up again. You know, it's just, everything is just cycles, right? And when you see the cycles of the market, you're like, huh, I could take advantage of this thing. And that's why traders, if someone had a gun to my head, say, John, you need to sell everything, right? Sell everything, sell the kids, sell everything. And put in the one thing, it'd be actually the 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 GDXJ uh, or uh, um, uh, the mining the mining stocks um, and um, and stuff like that, and even gold, right? People have been writing off gold now for quite some time, and uh, I didn't know when the breakout was going to happen when it comes to gold, but it has, has actually happened from there as well too. So traders, the thing is this: is that um, when it comes to what I've just said there about the mining sector, we're gonna go through booms and busts as well too, right? We're gonna see probably gold and the mining stock start to rise as the stock market starts to rise as well too. We're gonna to go through an incredible move. Then we're probably gonna go through a bit of a strong pullback as they continue to raise interest rates. But after that pullback, after the the, bit, the big pullback out of the stock market, it's probably gonna happen 12 months, 12 months or so now down the road, that big pullback, not this, what we're seeing right now is not the big pullback. Once we do see that big pullback in the markets, what's likely to happen is that we're likely to start to see uh, we're going to see a big pullback. We're going to see a big pullback in the miners and metals as well too. But then what's going to come out of that is a supersonic, supersonic uh, boom for commodities out of gold and silver. So yes, we're probably going to see a big move up from here in the next 12 months. 
Um, but then after that, we're going to see a big pullback out of the mining stocks and gold and silver, commodity prices, stuff like that, as the stock market is having a bit of pullback. But what comes out of that is a complete massive super cycle, commodities, mining, gold, boom. Hey traders, I'm giving away 100% free access to my brand new breakthrough full trading course. This is eight videos over 10 hours of pure, amazing and powerful strategies. This is my most powerful systems of strategies that I've used for the last 16 years and I'm giving it away for free. So this is what I want you to do right now. I want you to go to johnsfreegift.com or there should be a link around here somewhere, a button or in the description or somewhere in there. Click on that and you can go get free access to my brand new uh, breakthrough trading course. So go to johnsfreegift.com right now. Go to that right now, guys. You can get full, complete, free membership access. Go do that right now.